My name is Kevin Holmes. I, uh, I'm a recent CS graduate here at UMass Lowell, and this is my project, uh, Conway's Game of Life. It is a mechanical screen instead of a digital one, and it uh, displays the entire algorithm through these moving flappers. With a normal computer screen that's composed up of pixels, um, just kind of colored dots, this is the mechanical version, similar to old train station ticker arrival boards or uh, like flip alarm clocks that used to have the flaps. It's very similar to that. And what it does is it does a basic simulation of cell growth. So as it moves along, each flap kind of moves down to pair with which pixels should be alive. So it's 72 motors operating in sync, um, a bunch of controller boards all hooked up to a main computer. So it's a lot of wiring as well. So. Hi, I'm Jeff Wu Warmoth. I'm a media artist uh, based in Massachusetts, and I teach at Fitchburg State University. This is my work, uh, Lilliput, an interactive video installation. This is my third 404 festival that I've been involved with. Hi, my name is Mark Stock. I'm an artist in the 404 Festival here at Lowell, Massachusetts. I have been creating new media artwork and digital art for almost 20 years. Uh, 404 Festival has been on my radar for the last 10 years or so and I am fortunate that it's come to Massachusetts and I've been able to participate. My name is Misha Rabinovich and I'm an assistant professor of interactive media here at UMass Lowell and I'm also an artist. This is one of our pieces here called Total Jump. Total Jump is an idea, the concept is that we're going to organize a worldwide jump where everyone jumps and lands at exactly the same time to precipitate a massive earthquake. At least let us realize that our cultural power is more powerful than any natural force. This is um, an example of a four-player one where people can stand on the mats, wait for a countdown, and try to land exactly on zero. And if they succeed, they see a photo of themselves appear on the screen jumping. Hello, um, my name is Heyeon Nam. I am originally from South Korea, and I am currently living and teaching in Louisiana. Battlenews. My background is graphic design and digital art. Now I'm making more robotic installations. So my invisible um, robotic installation, um, it prints Twitter real time every 10 seconds, including any derogatory slurs. In Louisiana, one day online community, I've heard derogatory slurs for especially Asian. As an artist, I decided to make artwork to express my feeling and we can raise discussion and awareness so we can start that kind of social, so-called digital racism issue. Around uh, 2011, I began a series of works that uh, were video installations sort of inspired by the thinking about the human condition, what it means to go through our everyday actions. Uh, and this resulted in an, a bunch of different video installations that involved uh, myself as a performer doing mundane actions, crawling, falling, climbing, jumping, carrying boxes. Um, and, and they sort of manifested as these little miniature Jeffus running around in these environments. Robots are a lot like us as human because they act like us, they look like us, but at the same time, um, when they look up my work and when they find a lot of derogatory slurs, and it, someone called me, this is a very depressing fortune cookie message. <laughs> it prints any sentences. Um, including derogatory slurs for Asian, Caucasian, African American, and Hispanic. So it includes everyone. And then I gave 20 different keywords and they print every 10 seconds. So they pick up and deliver, threw them away. I had this idea that I might combine these, this life-sized version of me with these little tiny people that might fall or infest me like little, like little vermin or something. As I prototyped and as I got to thinking about the project, I, I felt it would be very interesting to flip the camera. And instead of myself, who really, I was never playing myself in these works, right? I was sort of playing an everyman character. And so how interesting would that be to flip this and to actually have the audience be the, the performers. All the little people dropping are previous visitors to the exhibition. 
So as you engage with the previous viewers, you are now becoming someone that will infest their own image later. So you're, you're playing with other gallery visitors over time in the same virtual space. Art is an interesting thing to define. Uh, as an engineer, it's a little difficult for me. But what I see is that art is a, th is a thing that is intrinsically difficult to make. Uh, it is difficult to think about. It is, it is very complex as well. And I think that digital art and new media art itself has kind of gotten a bad rap because in a lot of ways it's really easy to make. Anyone can buy Photoshop and run a filter and make something weird and strange and even complex. That's great. People can explore. Uh, what I try to do though is I, I like controlling every aspect of the algorithm uh, from the very beginning to the very end. Uh, my work has required uh, very large computer codes, trillions and trillions of mathematical operations organized specifically to make very intricate, very detailed pieces of work. And that effort, I think, and, and that concept, I believe, makes what I, what I do artwork. Because I'm writing a computer program, I'm working in this virtual space. I'm working in a space of ones and zeros. And progressing these ones and zeros, you need algorithms, you need to multiply and divide, you need to subtract, take square roots. And the summation of all of these operations is an algorithm. Now, nature itself doesn't concern itself with ones and zeros. Nature has atoms and molecules and people and societies and all these other complex systems interacting. What I want to show is that a computer itself is just as complex as these systems that humans have grown up to live in and make themselves. And I like looking at the, the similarities and the dissimilarities between this virtual complexity that we can create and the natural complexity that has existed before humans were around. art is really good for opening up the space of ideas. It doesn't really provide a solution, but it's, it creates an opportunity to imagine different solutions, especially our work, we sometimes deal with utopian ideas. So for us, you know, we were inspired by other forms of social synchronization. So there are these small actions that we all take, but when we put them together, we can precipitate something massive. So that's kind of what we're playing with here. The biggest technological change that we've seen in the last 100 years, and this is even more than flight and automobiles, is global communications. And what global communications does is it, is it breaks down this physical distance between people, between societies, between cultures. As um, artistic background and technological background, I always curious how art and technology can change the audience mind and our behavior. Artists have always been the ones that have been the most experimental when it comes to technology. So painting, the idea of three-dimensional perspective during the Renaissance was very experimental. Uh, but even before that, the creation of pigments and colors, right, um, and the transformation of elements into paints was, was experimental at some point. And I think that it's very important for artists to experiment with technology because, you know, they're not really beholden to innovate. They're much more free to do things that other people might not even uh, feel the permission to do it. So I think that um, if we want to get the most out of technology, and if we want to have technology that's humanistic or even maybe post-humanistic, post-humanist, we need to experiment with it in a very free context. And the other thing is the interdisciplinary nature of a lot of these artworks that you're mentioning, a lot of this media like augmented reality, um, sensor-based art, software art, the transdisciplinary nature of them, using multiple media, and also the, the need and the desire to collaborate with people in other disciplines, such as writers, historians, engineers, scientists, musicians. I think all of that creates a much richer experience and that's what you need when you're dealing with new technologies. You have to work with other people. As now a video and installation and new media artist, I feel that, that working with any available medium, in a way I have to have faith that that medium will 
develop and that I have to be active to figure out what the intrinsic properties are of any new medium and to, you know, and to help it, uh, to help grow those media um, conceptually and, and aesthetically. And so I think that any, any new medium is going to start to develop its own practitioners and its own artistic and aesthetic uh, expression. And it's interesting, I don't think when I started doing photography 25 years ago that uh, that people would take as many photos as they do now, right? So not only was it established as as uh, artistic expression, but now uh, the best camera is the camera that we have, and we carry our cameras with us all the time, right? Creating robot is one way to get a little bit closer to my audience because they act like us, and when they just pick it up and cutting gestures, it kind of imitate the human behavior and human gestures. So we, without any further information and explanation, they already know what they are doing, what they're meaning. So this is very convenient to understand. Thanks a lot to the 404 Festival for bringing this here. It's First of all, it's fantastic for the people involved. This festival has happened in many countries. It's never happened in the U.S. yet, so this is a great opportunity. 404 and other international festivals leverage this wonderful technology that we have to share ideas across the world instantly, well, seventh of a second, uh, and, and, and learn from other cultures and integrate that into our own thinking. And the sooner that we can become uh, people that think about the world when we act, uh, the better I think we'll be. I'm really glad to participate in this 404 International Festival of Art and Technology. This is my first time, this is my first year, and really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm really glad to meet a lot of other artists meeting here that I already know, and I also met a lot of new friends and new artists. This is awesome. Thank you so much.